Hubble is tracking another hot Jupiter, discovered by astronomer Jeff Marcy. But this one is different from Bellerophon. You've probably heard of the planet HD 209458b. It's a terrible name. A terrible name for a terrible place. HD 209458b has been dubbed by some as Osiris after the Egyptian god of the dead. Osiris is over 200 times more massive than Earth. It has migrated perilously close to its sun. At a mere 4 million miles, or almost 6.5 million kilometers from the blazing solar surface, Osiris broils in a planetary hell. The average daily temperature on Osiris is over 1,000 degrees Celsius. Forget global warming. This is global frying, and it causes Osiris to lose an estimated 500,000 metric tons of air every second. There's a leak of gas, a steady stream of hydrogen and helium, and that's making a big, huge cloud all around the planet. Its atmosphere is bleeding into space. Scientists speculate that a colossal trail of gas spirals behind the planet for thousands of kilometers. Osiris presents an unprecedented opportunity for astronomers. Using Hubble, they analyze the alien planet's bloated atmosphere. This is the absolutely first time where we could tell what is the composition of the atmosphere of an extrasolar planet. Surprisingly, Hubble detects many of the basic chemicals needed for life. Sodium, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But Osiris is far too hot for life as we know it. There may be other forms of life, however, that thrive on higher temperatures. But there's no solid surface as we know it on a hot Jupiter. So this life would have to be just tiny little microbes floating around on aerosols. And on our own Earth, we have life that floats around in our atmosphere. But that life didn't start there. So life almost certainly would not exist on hot Jupiters. Astronomers have discovered many hot Jupiters since Bellerophon was found in 1995. But conditions on these worlds rule them out as places where the drama of life can unfold. However, one of these gas giants is a planet that teases the rules of evolution. Astronomer Jeff Marcy discovers something shocking about a planet orbiting a star called 16 Cygnus B, located some 70 light years away in the constellation of Cygnus, the Swan. The planet was clearly in an elongated orbit, bringing the planet close to and then far from the host star. And this, of course, defied our expectations based on our own solar system, where all of the planets go around our sun in nearly circular orbits like phonograph grooves in a record. Like a giant yo-yo in space, the gas giant swings back and forth across its solar system. That's like the Earth swooping 25 million miles, more than 40 million kilometers closer to the sun, then slinging past Mars, all the way out toward Jupiter, every year. And like all of the gas giants in our solar system, this yo-yo planet probably has an entourage of moons. Marcy speculates that one of these moons could be similar to Earth. And here's where the interesting story begins. Imagine a rocky moon with lakes, oceans, maybe streams and waterfalls on the surface. 
the moon orbiting its planet, the two of them orbiting the host star. Unlike the airless moon that circles the Earth, this moon is a world with experience.